Who's a handsome man? Stats. Look at that handsome masked man. I mean, like, look at that handsome man. No, I'm joking, I need to start something. Alright, hey guys, welcome to another video. Another stalking video. In today's video, by the way. Uh, sharing my thoughts on PLKN. You guys don't know what PLKN is. PLKN is uh, Malaysian, uh, Malaysian National Service. It's kind of like, you know how Singaporeans, after they graduate from high school or college, you have to serve your national service for at least two years. So, Malaysia is kind of banning for one. So, all G 07 G generation. So, I am 07. So, uh, I mean, I, I've up on in year 2007 i might be drafted to national service by next year i don't really read much about this news but however i i think this is uh is a good experience because we we as citizens of our our country we need to serve our country i mean yeah we have to serve national service for two years. So a few months ago. No, it is impossible to few months. It's years. Yeah, two years. Or I mean in, in terms of Singapore though, I don't know. But yeah, uh we will have to serve for national service in training the progress of TLK and pro program uh, I I what's it called? It? I remember it's program something. And then what the hell is that shit? Hmm? Oh Discord. Oh Discord sent a message. Oh that's me. PLKN is Yeah, National Service Training Program. Program Lati and Kit Matnagar. Now they have National Service. On Google. PLKN in English National Service Training Program so for the people for the to, to the students right now who is in 07 generation will be drafted to PL Kenshin well my thoughts is it's good it's, it's a good experience for us because like, like I said as a citizen though as a citizen of our own country we have to serve we have to show our pride of being a citizen of this country showing our patriotics and literally train hard, do hard, serve hard you get to touch the weapons but not for fun though I mean I love weapons but however uh, the Malaysian army they use like kind of old 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 kind of weapons like F-16 or I mean, they they use M4, but they mostly use M16. They don't use M4. M they use for normal ground though. For normal ground forces, they yeah, except for special forces like Malaysian ground forces, they use M16. For Malaysian elite forces, they use M4, M4, HK. Uh, HK416, HK416K, HK UMP, UMP, or HK something, I don't know. Uh, German weapons. But however, for Malaysia, I don't know much, but what I know is they use M16. M16, in my opinion, is kind of, it's a, it's a decent weapon. It's used in a Vietnam War. Uh, against the Viet Cong was using the Viet Cong farmers who are using the AKs uh, after my Klashenko 47 Chamberlain I don't know <laughs> I don't know much about Russian guns but however it's good M16 is a decent gun to me uh, if you get what I think though also I'm not trying to be controversial here, but what I think recently there's a war between Israel and Palestine. 
I would say Palestine. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's war though. It's a genocide. So Malaysia has been eagerly supporting Palestine. So kind of if okay, Malaysia have two 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 sides of allies here. U.S. and uh, and okay, Malaysia is being supported by the U.S. But at the same time, Malaysia is supporting Palestine. So right now, U.S. is supporting Israel, which Malaysia hates the country, and Malaysia is supporting Palestine. So if anything goes wrong, we will be in war. And if any time we could die because of this, so what I'm thinking is they held this speaker and it's because if Israel is uh, like kind of trying to uh, declare a war, so we will go to war and serve our nation, serve our country, protect our country. So what I'm thinking is they. It's not for the. I mean, it's kind of for the country good stuff. You guys will be safe. You. I mean, you. You Malaysian stuff. I wouldn't say. Okay, I, I'm Malaysian. All right. Okay. I'm just saying to my fellow uh, citizens. All right. <laughs> okay. But it's also kind of good and bad at the same time. But like, okay, the bad thing is, why did you even support it at the first place? Okay, I know Malaysia is a Muslim country. Palestine is also a Muslim country. However, Muslim does have a uh, Palestine doesn't even have an army. But Hamas, in my opinion, though, Hamas is a freedom fighter against uh, Israel defense forces. But at the same time, what is Israel defending for? Israel is literally attacking random people. It's like, what the hell, bro? Also, right now, Palestine is defenseless. Uh, however, there are supports to sending airdrops, sending uh, medical, sending food, sending meals from all around the countries like Tur uh, Turkey. I don't know about Turkey, but Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, New Zealand? I don't know New Zealand is escaped or not. But there are some airdrops though. Austria. Austria? Or airdrops? I don't know. But there are some aid helping from other countries. I don't know. But all I know is these two Malaysia and Indonesia. Because these, like I said, Muslim countries support other Muslim countries. How? But still being supported by the Western and Eastern countries like US, Russia, uh, United Kingdom, uh, Western Europe, Germany supports us, yeah, United Kingdom supports us, but yet we support their allies, I mean we support their, their enemies which they are attacking And while I think this PLK and this national forces is also what if they are because okay, Malaysia is a small country in Southeast Asia compared to other nations. Citizen stuff is okay. Citizens citizen count popularity is probably larger than Singapore. But however, Malaysian army is much much weaker than Indonesia and Singapore. Singapore uses US advanced weapons and Malaysia is using like old school weapons like I would say it's defenseless but it's useless. So no matter how, how much you try, no matter what you do, it's useless. And so if Malaysia continues to support their enemies U.S. would stop sending, I won't say U.S. though, I mean because I don't know how this works but Malaysia uses U.S. weapons and Russian weapons from the U.S. M16, M4, uh, 
aim 120, aim uh, uh, aim 90, I think, I don't know. Legacy Hornet, uh, t Tandem Seeds Hornet. Yeah, Hornet Planes. And Fuel Sukhois, 30 MKM. Was Russian plane made for Asia. I mean, like, what do they expect though? Maybe they are just using us as backup, just in case if they are. Or, or just as support though. If the Malaysian main army is taken down by other countries' soldiers and we will be sent to war, but who knows? Like I said, this is just a training, not a. Uh, it's also kind of a prediction, but anything can happen at, this, at, this, uh, at any time. It's just a prediction. And. If I die, adios, you guys won't see me anymore, see you, and don't bother finding this channel again because I won't be there if I'm dead, because I'm dead from this, from that, I, however, I would still do anything for this country, and even if I'm not, even if it's not my choice to live here, but I have no choice but to stay here because my dad is also Malaysian. I mean, I mix race. I, I can be serving for two two countries right now, Malaysia and Indonesia. However, I live here, so I have to serve for Malaysia. Also, it's not my choice also, like I said. But I will still do anything to serve for the country, die for the country, protecting the country. Uh... Well, this is kind of like my likings because I like military too. So, military, weapons, guns, uh, aircraft, navy, any type of military stuff. Right? I just love them so much. Despite how many times you get shot in the body, I've never been shot in the body. I don't know how that's like, but. I just realized what I just said, and uh, I mean, I, I, I still like military, but I'm just gonna take back what I said earlier. Uh, uh, Malaysian government, please don't find me. Uh, I'm still too young for this, but after SVM now. Okay. Uh, it's good. National service is good. Just in case if there's any war. We will be sent to war, be sent to battle, uh, battlegrounds to defend this country. Mm. Like I said, it's national service. It's kind of like a cadet. We all being a cadet, and then we just train ourselves, protect ourselves, protect our country, protect our family. I mean, protecting countries also already includes your family and friends. When your girlfriend, your ex, your wife, your husbands, your sisters, your sons, your daughters, your grandma, your grandfather, your cats, your dogs, your fish. Uh, but I'm just going to end it here because I don't have much opinion on this. I have opinions, but I don't know. Can't explain straight, so I'm just gonna end it here. See you guys in the next one. See ya.